Welcome back, everyone. Okay, in this week's segment of What the Hollywood, we got some uh, scandal going on over at the Kelly Clarkson show. So, all right, Kelly Clarkson's daytime talk show, The Kelly Clarkson Show, has been accused of what they're saying, fostering a toxic workplace. On Friday, Rolling Stone published an article which outlined firsthand accounts from one current and 10 former employees. So the alleged various, uh, sorry, these workers alleged various abuses from producers and other high ranking staffers. They say Kelly Clarkson is being kept in the dark about how bad it has gotten behind the scenes. And she was ridiculed online for promoting new music rather than addressing the toxic workplace allegations. However, Ms. Kelly Clarkson finally broke her silence on Sunday. She said, quote, in my 20 years in the entertainment industry, I've always led with my heart and what I believe to be right. I love my team at the Kelly Clarkson show and to find out that anyone is feeling unheard and or disrespected on this show is unacceptable. I have always been and will continue to be committed to creating and maintaining a safe and healthy environment at the Kelly Clarkson show. There is always room to grow and ensure we are all being slash becoming the best version of ver versions of ourselves in any business, especially when it comes to leadership. So I was kind of shocked when I, I was like, Kelly Clarkson, she's like the nicest person in Hollywood. I've, I've personally met her. She's so sweet. So when I heard this, and you know, Ellen DeGeneres got massive you know, flack when uh, the toxic workplace environment um, allegations, accusations came out, and then she kind of just stopped her show. So what are your thoughts about this? Well, uh, Kelly needs to know about it. She needs yeah. to be brought into the loop because I do think that probably the people are protecting Kelly from that, the higher ups, because they know they're being toxic and they don't want Kelly to know about it. Right. And also, I love when people release statements because you know their lawyers wrote that. Of course. Kelly didn't write that. Yeah. But I respect her for putting it out. But what I'd really like is somebody to actually just write their own genuine response mm -hmm. instead of having, because we've seen this how many times with, you know, they they finally broke their silence. No, their lawyer broke their silence. Yeah. Because yeah. they had to get every word right because that didn't sound like the way Kelly talks. No, not at watch all. Her, there would be a y'all listen. Y'all listen here. Yeah. I do not, you know, allow. Exactly. Mean. So, yeah, I mean, I doubt this is going to do anything to tarnish her image because, again, she was kept in the dark about it, and she's Kelly Clarkson. I do have America's a question, sweetheart. though, Mad. Yeah. Have you heard, and I don't know why, and maybe you don't know why, I also saw last week that she's moving from L.A. to New York with her show. Yeah, why? so her quote, I did have to cut it down just for time, but she did talk about how it's moving from L.A. to New York, which I don't understand how these cel celebrities yeah. do it. She's got the voice in, in Los in, Angeles. Yeah. But how are you going to do that in New York? I just, if it's all right there, and the, right. you would think if you could get it done in one town, you would. You would, especially those big cities with all the traffic. But yeah. regardless, mm. let's, keeping in Los Angeles, uh, Kris Jenner, you know, momager extraordinaire, she has been mercilessly mocked as off-brand after claiming in a new advertisement that she was the mastermind behind the Doritos Cool Ranch Papadilla with uh, collaboration with Papa John's. Let's take a look at this mm. video. I know a thing or two about creating a brand, and I'm here to tell you that this new, amazingly delicious idea for the Doritos Cool Ranch Papadilla was all mine. I mean, who else would come up with such a genius idea? It came to me when I was running to a meeting with one of the girls. I reached over to my purse for a bag of Doritos Cool Ranch chips as I passed by a Papa John's. I immediately stopped the car, called my kids and said, your mom just came up with the best idea ever. And here we are. I mean, look at this thing. Take it from me. I'm sorry. I can't, I could not buy that for one second. She lives in Hidden Hills in Calabasas. There are no Papa John's out there. I'm telling you, I have been to Calabasas. No Papa John's. And Kris Jenner eating Doritos while she's driving herself. She's got driver's people. So this is, so yeah, exactly. This is why she's being mocked. Uh, one person commented, quote, Chris, respectfully, I've seen hostage videos more convincing than this. Another person wrote, is it April Fool's again? And I, I lost track of time. <laughs> and then another person once said, lies, all lies, LOL. I don't believe for one sec she eats Doritos or Papa John's, totally unrelatable. So Jeremy, I must ask, <laughs> are you buying that Chris Jenner eats the Doritos in her car that she, I guess, drives and was actually driving past a Papa John's in Hidden so, Hills. Well, I didn't even know they didn't have Papa John's there. I didn't I mean, they, they do, they, but oh. it's, it's a nice area. Like, I gotcha. It, yeah. Um, Maddie, I, to me, when I watched this just now for the first time, because you know I like to be surprised. Yes. 
I was watching thinking, oh, this is a joke spoof video. Like, I didn't take her seriously at all because I think Doritos is probably, or Papa John's is in partnership with her of course. to make up something funny. So I, I, I don't get those comments because I'm like, to me, it's all in fun. Right. I think, but I could be wrong. See, that's the thing. I don't think... Chris Jenner knows how to be funny, and I think that was oh, like, okay. here's the teleprompter, read it in your kitchen, one of your kitchens, and but, just, you know. Quick question then. Yeah. So if it was supposed to be serious then, and she really didn't come up with the idea, then it is lies. Exactly. What? So, I mean, everyone's like, does she need, she really need that extra, you know, million? Right. But I don't can know. I also say though, <laughs> it just whoever so her tacky. doctor is, her face looks flawless. She, yeah. Hair, makeup. I mean, as Classic I surgeons. The surgeons, I gotta say. Uh, yeah. It, I actually met one of her surgeons. He's really nice, but he does great work. Just saying. Anyways, okay. So, next story on What the Hollywood. There's been lots of speculation that Meghan Markle is pregnant with her third child. Ooh. Yes, following the king's coronation and her noticeable absence, the pregnancy rumors have been making the rounds online. There's also uh, a photo of Megan hiking with what looked like a fuller stomach than normal. We got this uh, photo from TMZ. This was on May 7th, and you can kind of see this area is kind of protruding a little bit more. People are saying she's pregnant. Um, however, over the weekend, her and Harry were spotted going to sushi for for dinner. Granted, it's unknown if she ate sushi, because when you're pregnant, you're not supposed to eat yeah, fish. You're yeah. supposed to avoid that. So people are saying she's pregnant, but because they went to a sushi date night, she's not pregnant. I don't know. What do you think? I thought she was done after Lilibet. I thought I, she said like, I think they're done. two and done. I, I, and first of all, this is me after eating a Taco Bell bean burrito. <laughs> I'm exactly, just exactly. I mean, she looks, I think she looks so good. She's so toned. Yeah. She's so thin. I don't even know. And they're saying, hey, it could be a fanny pack around her stomach. It could be like one of those money things. I have a question. Yes. When you go hiking, but do you wear all this? <laughs> because there was no. a TikTok video that went through and priced every single one of her items. Oh, She's gosh. also wearing one of Princess Diana's bracelets right now. Well, so, like, do you go hiking no. in jewels and the hat and the neck and every? I mean, to Absolutely me, not. it's staged. I'll just be honest with you. You think so? I think it's a staged appearance. Maybe it is. All right. Well, Maddie, what the Hollywood, what my the friend? Ho Holy basil. Holy basil, Maddie. <laughs> what the Hollywood? That was good. All right, guys. <laughs> uh, coming up, we're going to look over our progressive performance pictures that you sent us. Most of them are of Maddie because you were amazing. So <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> good, but you had way better.